them, folks. This is Suikoden, Suikoden, or however you want to pronounce it. I'm going to say Suikoden. This is a game from my childhood that I never played. As you can see, 1995, 1996. This is the Konami logo that I can't skip. Oh, there I did. Konami! It gets really aggressive really quickly. This is a very rare JRPG for the PlayStation. On eBay, you can see this game in its original form running for, for quite a lot of money. And I didn't play this one, I played the second one, and I loved it. And I always wanted to play this one, and I never got the chance. So, here is my chance. And I'm going to capture it, record it for you guys, and if you enjoy it, uh, please show your appreciation, because what I'm going to do here is, this is kind of an extended balls deep. If nobody watches, and nobody shows that they're watching, I'll just end it. But if you do like it, and you want it to continue, show your support, and I will continue it. And I will play the entire game if it gets enough support. And it's really that simple. So without further ado, let's new game. Right, I'm gonna call my character something short and simple, which is D. And uh, I'm not gonna explain why, so people can have an opportunity to drop some knowledge and uh, share some awesomeness in the comments to see what they think it is. Uh, the window will be open during this recording, so the professionalism is gonna tank just a little bit. You're gonna hear some cars and things, but it's very hot, guys, and uh, I need to survive. Another thing to, to watch out for too, when I played this last night, because I have played this start bit a little bit, uh, there was some weird audio happening. So if you hear any crazy funky audio, uh, it's it's probably the, the emulation, I'm not too sure. So I don't know if I should read the dialogue. I, I, some people do that. I do enjoy doing that. I don't know what's probably best. This needs to change. It's too slow, man. Master Tio, Master D. The Emperor will receive, receive you now. Please go this way. Yep. Da, 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 da. Good music too. So Tio McDowell, General of the Imperial Army and his son D McDowell. Not too sure if this is a lady saying it or what. Here for an audience with the Emperor. It's definitely a lady. Just gave a lady a nice butch man voice. This fucking music's great. Barbarossa. Welcome, Theo. How oh, things? Yeah, very nice. Impressive words. Do you not agree, Windy? <laughs> what a name. Indeed. They are the words of a correct general. I'm sure you are aware of the troubling activity in the north. Would you be willing to travel there to protect... Too slow, man. You need to fucking... I need to speed this up. I need the options. Our disputes with the United City States of Jalston are complicated, but with General McDowell and... and Char See? Why? Why? We can be rest assured. Very nice. Yep. My beloved sword, Prack, with two Ks, has brought me luck on countless occasions. It could be due to the illegitimacy of the spelling. I would like you to have it. Take it with you. Thank you, Your Highness. I swear not to disappoint you. So he gives us his blessing and he wishes his good luck. Or wishes our dad good luck. Quite an impressive little countenance. Which is just a fancy way of saying appearance. Would you be willing to give the Empire a helping hand while your father is protecting the northern border? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, you presumptuous old cunt. <laughs> You already resemble your father. I shall look forward to seeing you grow into manhood. <laughs> Pedophiles in the castle. Commander Craze of the Imperial Guard will be the master of D Superior. Here she comes, Windy. <laughs> what an attractive young man you are. Good luck to you, D. And I'll properly close my legs to stop the draft. I hope your efforts will surpass your father's. Why would you say that, Chief? In front of my dad. You just... You just pissed all over my moment. Right in front of my dad. Alright, so... We're now in control. I am playing this on a, an Xbox 360 controller, if you're wondering. And... Ah, where's the... I need to check some stuff. Message speed. Fast. Jesus. Takes forever. Very ugly looking menu, too. 
so now that we're in control, we can, can do the RPG thing. I've heard that she bears a close resemblance to Lady Claudia. He still mourns her passing. This game really reminds me of RPG Maker because of the... Like the it's not a bad aesthetic, just the way the game looks. So this is one of the, the five generals, I believe. Kazim Hazil. Theo, looks like you've brought a fine son into this world. I envy you. That's my uh, Sean Connery <laughs> pretending to be Ramirez from Spain there. Okay, that's all this guy says. I remember that from yesterday. But what happens on these games if you've never played a, a Suicide M before? There's this notion of 108 stars, which is essentially 108 people you can recruit for your army. Because the game's usually about building a base, building an army, and it's in the trappings of an RPG. It's very unique. Go and introduce yourself, boy. So this is General Craze. And when you speak to somebody who has a unique name and a face, it means that they are somebody who is one of these stars. And you can usually recruit them in, in some way. I couldn't care less if you're the son of a great general. You get no respect to no special treatment here. Understand? She? I've gone home. Work begins tomorrow. Report you first thing in the morning. Okay, buddy. I did introduce myself, father. Oh, wow. So, dad doesn't respect that guy very much. And I'm not in control. So, there we go. It's a lot of speed walking. Glad I'm not playing this on the original PlayStation. It'd take like 10 minutes to load every screen. Another catchy JRPG tune. Okay. Welcome home, young master. Wow, Stutter and a uh, Veroni Kenshin scar. Were you nervous in front of the Emperor? Well, not really. I just pulled it out and she was like, wow. I was so worried, but I guess everything went fine. What kind of name is Gremio? Oh, yes, Master Teo. You're six foot seven, wearing <laughs> clad in armor and a fantastic looking cape. Didn't see you there. Good grief. You have tunnel vision. I'm not too sure if you're a man or a woman. You're cooking, so the <laughs> the male stereotype in me wants to say you're a woman. Right. Oh. Young master, how many times do I have to tell you? Please knock before entering the room of a lady. Oh well, you can be forgiven. If it's my room, I suppose. How was your audience with the Emperor? We were nervous. I was shitting malt loaves. Here we go. Cleo's diary. Uh huh. You shouldn't be looking at a woman's belongings. Take it easy, baby. I'm wearing a fucking. <laughs> I'm wearing a stupid bandana thing. Like a neckerchief on my head. How can you not love this? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I didn't realize you had a walk in bed. Does everyone want to have a walk in bed? That's quite deluxe. Oh, I remember this guy. This is Pan. And there's some interesting moments in this game where it allows you to do things like this. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave him alone because there's nothing worse than scaring someone when they're asleep. That was your audience with the Emperor. Alright, Val, kill me, shut up. Martial arts handbooks. Talk with your fist, Pan's diary. Another one's stuttering. Shouldn't look at my books without permission. I've got permission, son. Called life. Oh, this one's good. My hands are full right now. This is the most important step when you're making a stew. <laughs> what are you? Fuck with him? Fuck with him? Or leave her alone? Oh, it says him. So it must be a guy. Hmm. <laughs> Young master, that hurts. Please stop. But Grammy, oh, you're so sexy. You know you have repressed feelings for me. Let me tickle you. Oh, you can do it again. I'll leave him alone. Okie dokie, so dinner's gonna be ready soon. Uh, I've already explored a lot of this, so I'm not going to do it on for the sake of this. Just carry on if we can. And the music's um, handling this a lot better than it did on the other option I chose. 
I heard the news, D. You met the Emperor, didn't you? Tell me about it. Looks like he's five. Let's go up to your room. Tell me all about the Emperor. In my asshole. <laughs> Joins the entourage. Jeremy Piven would be extremely happy. Okay. So now we're in the closet of your homosexual room. What do we do now? Please let me join your entourage. You just did. I owe you so much. Oh no, I owe so much to Master Tio. I want to return the favor. I don't know. <laughs> I don't handle homosexuality too well in my anus. I'll let him. I'll take a bully ramen. kind of man was the Emperor. And tell me about Windy. Was she beautiful? Tell me everything! Well, she had tits that could crack a statue. If she fell, she would not land on her face. I'm sure I would like to see Windy in person. I'm sure you would. Might help you out with that gay thing you've got going. <laughs> Sadie, there's something I want to tell you. Can you keep a secret? <laughs> It just gets worse, doesn't it? There's this little story we've got going now. <laughs> Promise me you'll never tell anyone I'm about to tell you. Last night, when you were asleep, I fucked your mouth. It felt warm and comforting. You even cracked a smile. <laughs> oh, he didn't tell us. And I don't think we're going to find out either. It's probably going to be one of those twists later on. So, dinner time. I've already searched this place, so I'm just going to sit down and chow. Tomorrow morning, I must travel north. D will be responsible for the household in my absence. I'd like you all to give him full support. Just like Val Kilmer in the bat suit. Grimio. Too much stuttering. Why are you stuttering? I don't get it. You've taken care of D since he was a boy. That just says baby, but I just went Russell Crowe on that. He's grown into a fine youth. Oh, that's just not a good sentence. So this is establishing the hierarchy of your team or your friends. Or your mangers, I don't know what they are. And Ted, I know you have the shittest name out of everybody I just spoke about, but you're still a good friend. Let's raise our glasses. To my son. To the Empire. To the music dying and the scene ending. I told you. Told you they did some despicable things to me in my sleep. Looks like we won't be fucking his mouth tonight. So I think this is meant to simulate nighttime. And what's happening here is is Gremio has been, you know, looking after us for quite some time. And your father's about to, to go off in the night to the northern border. And they didn't want to wake you, which is an interesting choice, because I, I get the feeling his dad's going to die. And that was probably the last opportunity we would have had to spoke, to spoke to him. To spoke to him, right in his mouth. To speak to him. Look, this dude just runs into our room. What kind of relationship do they have? You're such a late sleeper. <laughs> we must visit Commander Chris. That's right. Get inside my body before I wake up with a Cleveland steamer on my chest, you horny bastard. So, the controls are on an analog. I should probably use the D-pad, because the, the emulation of the controls is a little finicky. But Pan's excited. He thinks we might be fighting in the Mount Sefu or some various other places. Our job is to protect the young master. That guy looks like a boy, but she said she was a girl. That looks like. I don't know, he's... Why is he looking down? I think there's something wrong with his neck. So. Wait for me, D. How can you leave me behind? You normally love my behind. So Ted joined the entourage and we can continue onwards. So there's quite a lot of stuff to look around here, but I've already done it, so I'm going to save it so I can get to a part where I don't know what's coming.
and that involves going to speak to the commander and then going to the first dungeon-esque area of the game. So we're going to go into the castle.